works. <laughs> Got it. I want to send this to my friends to tell them how much fun it is. Ooh, happy chair yoga day. Woo! Woo! First exercise, jump in the air. I want just joking. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe music, <laughs> music genres that, that Bob so can't can stand. actually move today, so. We're doing the Macarena today. We've already Mozzarella. talked about that. Okay, so I'm just standing because I feel like it, but everybody else be sitting and we'll inhale and exhale heart center and inhale and exhale heart center and one more and bring it to heart center. We are grateful and open up your arms here. And we can reach over the top. It is a stormy day here in Southern California. We need it. Yeah, we do. It was 80 yesterday, and today the high will be in the 60s. Woo! And reach <laughs> and reach. Good. And we're going to reach in front. Good. And reach. Beautiful. Hear that, Bob? High in the 60s. <laughs> 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 I, someday we'll someday we'll have to sit down with a glass of wine or good scotch and we can chat about it. <laughs> that sounds great. <laughs> around and around. What are you, the weather? I can tell you about how I got the cheerleaders kicked out of the cheerleading squad. <laughs> showing up at a, we're showing up at a party, a drinking party in their uniforms. Oh dear, around the other way. <laughs> You you know, Bob, sometimes you've got to marry a cheerleader. I did. <laughs> you go. Like yeah, but I had to go. I had to go out of out of county to do it, though. Well, I never went to any drinking parties in high school. I know you were. You were a good girl. I was a very good girl. And then you met George. <laughs> and around. good. And then we'll put our hands on our thighs, and what we're going to do is inhale. Well, we fill up our bellies and our lungs like this, kind of arch your back, and then exhale and you round your back like you're a turtle in the shell. And inhale, fill up that diaphragm and exhale. And at the end of this class, you're going to feel so good. And the reason won't be because of the class. It'll be because you actually were breathing. And exhale. <laughs> uh, breathing's underrated, I know. There's something about oxygen that really helps us feel good. <laughs> and then back to center, we're gonna roll that shoulder back, roll the other shoulder back. It makes us feel good. And isn't that the goal of life? Just to feel good. <laughs> well, you're being recorded, you know. Isn't that Excellent. the definition of hedonism? Feel good. And the reason that we feel good sometimes is because we help other people and we're full of love for them and compassion. And there That's we my go. entire life, my dear. You see? You dedicated his life to it, Mr. Bob. No, you I have a dedicated chair yoga station. Up and over. Oh, to feeling good. Oh, yeah, that's good too. <laughs> and reach, reach, reach. Very good, very good. And then back and reach. Now, today I'm wearing three prints because my granddaughter evidently has been taught at, at the old age of five that you're only supposed to wear one print and then all the rest is supposed to be plain colors. So I'm wearing three prints today to show her that that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> my, son, my, my son was colorblind so he used to come down to school in the most interesting outfits. Oh, that's great. <laughs> we would that try to kind friend. of tell him, hey, we got some other ideas. <laughs> <laughs> and then hands on hips and side to side. That's great, I love it. In fact, usually spouses of people who are colorblind pre-select their husband's or wife's outfits so they are a little more color coordinated. Oh, that's wonderful. And they I put them on friend. hangers for them so they, they know that's correct. Speaking of spouses that have blind spouses, I have one friend who showed me her secret closet. <laughs> her 
that's the worst part. And she had a secret closet filled with like a hundred pairs of shoes. <laughs> oh my well, what's gosh. The point of, what's the point of that? Well, he didn't want her to buy that many shoes. So oh. she just had a secret closet that he didn't know about. Uh, can you say <laughs> therapy? And her <laughs> But and women do have a disadvantage. I never looked at her shoes anyways, right? So. Women have a disadvantage because you actually need a shoe that goes with the outfit, whereas we are, men can get away with basic stuff. Yeah, see, there the you go. Foot. Thanks. Okay, we're bringing the left knee up and giving it a hug. We appreciate our knees, feeling that beautiful. When, when you get that nice bend in your leg here at the knee, it's really good for your joints because you don't want to lose the ability to bend this knee as much as you can there. So hold it, bend it. And then the other thing we're going to do is rotate that ankle around. Because that's it. You want the ability to rotate that ankle. We don't want to lose it. And then around the other way, rotate, rotate. Good. Our ankles are loving it. Good job. <laughs> and then bring it down. Oh, we'll go to the other side. Bring it up. Hug. Bend that knee. Good. And appreciate your knees. And then circle. Good, 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 good. And circle the other way. Beautiful. And breathe. Breathe. I see you have camping equipment in your uh, studio, your yoga studio there. Yeah. <laughs> George, have, have you sleeping in the living room these days or what? Sit down. Sit <laughs> down. And exhale. I love my yoga studio. <laughs> is it that's a sleeping bag pad, right? No, those are both yoga mats. Yoga mats, which we used yeah. to call sleeping bag things. Yeah, they, they could work for that, but I have two yoga mats down here on my floor because I have a client coming. A fully vaccinated, and our my yoga studio is well aired, so it's all good. You used to go to clients' houses a lot, didn't you? Yes, I did. Run, run, run. Side to side. Yeah, I did. I used to. About half, about half my clients I've put in their houses. And I was going to one client's house, but that one didn't work out anymore because she doesn't feel very good. No, she's she got Alzheimer's. I'm sorry to say. So well, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Hey! Hi. Yay! Is that I can't Laura? read it. I can't read it. Who's just joined us? Laura. I think it's Laura. Laura. Okay. And around and around the other way. Good. Cool. Okay. And Laura, okay, what were we saying about Doug now? Woohoo! What was I in time for? I'm sorry. What we were, we were just talking about Doug horse. when you weren't here, but we won't talk about it anymore. <laughs> Uh, your or see i have one pattern two patterns and three patterns today Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. all right so we are inhaling up and exhale down to your feet ha inhale reach and exhale fold inhale and exhale Good. And my meditation class continues to grow. There's so many people coming. I'm so grateful. And I love this class. But man, it'd be nice to have more people, huh, guys? So, well, I told you I'd go to your meditation class, but I think it would turn out to be more of a, you know, <laughs> junior comedy routine. So. <laughs> turn to the side and back. And turn and back. That well, not sense. much chance of that, Bob. <laughs> I remember when I showed up at the first chair yoga thinking this was going to be easy. <laughs> Me and all these older women, except, uh, of course, the uh, <clears throat> one on the right there. The and uh, I got out of there going, wow, I can hardly breathe. <laughs> you never That's stopped. True, right? This is a lot of work. Well, you never stopped. I never stopped. And there was one gal, couple gals that were in their 30s that came and they wouldn't come back. It was too hard for them. <laughs> yep. Hey, us old people know how to do this. That's right. We're disciplined. <laughs> but 
So no, Valerie, got nothing was else to do. Valerie was the 20 something <laughs> who was also a yoga teacher and she always came. And I she know she was down. making me really feel comfortable. I know, it's great. We right? do everything it's standing awesome. up. Yeah. And sometimes I'd forget the names of the moves or something. And she would remind me, inhale up and exhale over, bring it to your head and up and over, bring it to your head and up. Feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> up, over and up. Good. Yeah. This is a workout. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And up and one more. Good, and then we're gonna pick up that hay bale and throw it in the hay loft. And pick up the hay bale and throw it in the hay loft. Good, yeah, full extension. And you can see why we're doing all these moves. I mean, this is just so good to get this in as a life move that you're, you're able to do this if you need to, you know, to bail the boat or I don't know, stop up the dam or I don't know, Put the, the thing on the shelf. One more on this side. Good. Other side. Pick it up and throw. Or golf, right? Yeah. And swing that putter. Throwing the clubs into the lake. <laughs> you can throw the clubs in the, in the water yeah. element. <laughs> I was playing golf with my brother. And he hit a bad shot and he started pounding his club on the ground. <laughs> and broke it. And broke it. And I said, I said, Jim, that's my club. <laughs> and he kind of looked up, done found and went, oh, sorry. He never <laughs> replaced it. Oh, my Mother's. God. Wow, that's great. Two, and one more. Woo! And through the water, through the water. Beautiful. Good, 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 good. Yay. Through and through. And yes, I've been out on my board almost every day. I'm so happy I can, I, I, um, my back's all healed from my unfortunate um, bike riding into 44 mile an hour winds. Well, don't wow. do that anymore. I won't, I don't overdo it anymore. I saw a kid on one of those electric uh, scooters, you know, just the yeah. ones you stand on. Yeah, we're gonna hear Coming it. down a hill, in San Diego, and there was no way he was going to be able to stop. Oh my goodness. I kept thinking, how stupid. <laughs> well, us young people, you know. I grew up in a town that had big hills. Yeah, that's right. So we and took bring it here. Okay, this is the hard one. You slide that foot out and the and the oar out and bring it back. Slide. Yeah, you've got you big hills up there. Imaginary or, by the way, I think Laura's using an imaginary or. Good. Or you can brace your core and kick it. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And brace your core means the belly is coming in when that foot goes out. <sighs> belly comes in when the foot goes out. That's right. So you're using your obliques and your abdominis muscles instead of your lower back muscles, which get enough work. And kick, and kick two more, woo! Kick, and last one, woo, great. And we'll reach up for one more nice stretch, twist to the side and breathe, center and twist. And breathe. Okay, we can put these down and switch it for our weights. Woo! And I'm gonna have some five pound weights and some two pound weights, but you can use imaginary weights or cans or water bottles or whatever you have. And I'm gonna start with my five pounders and I'm gonna inhale here and exhale it up. And inhale and exhale, feeling my muscles working. Now, if you have imaginary weights, you just pretend that you have heavy weights in your hands and that is 30% effective to your muscle because your muscle is very much listens to the little mind up there. And 30% um, effective 
you don't even have to have heavy weights. Like we, you know what, Cindy? When you come back, like our, right now, you can pretend you're lifting twenty five pound weights. Our place and will be, be uh, like I'm lifting fifteen pound weights or whatever. Our okay? place will be thirty percent vacuumed when you get back. Isn't that great? Bring it here, and we're gonna kick and kick and give our muscles a little rest as we kick. Woo! Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Kick and kick and kick and kick. Good. Now bring them to heart center. We'll inhale and exhale. Uh, long jump down that ski no, slope. No, it's the, it's the, uh, what is it called? Uh, ski jumping. Ski jumping. We're ski jumping down the ski slope. Yeah, I should know, right? Because it's winter. No, by now. Winter Olympics. Are they over? Oh. They got until Sunday, I think it is. Okay. Then We're... Russia invades Ukraine. Woo! <laughs> oh, dear. And woo, sending good energy to those two countries. We're sending out our love and hope that they will remain peaceful. Thank okay, you. let's send the love. Woo! Okay. Bring it to heart and send the love. And then bring your um, imaginary or real weights to your hips and we'll go around in a circle one way and around in a circle the other way. Good. <clears throat> and you can continue with your heavier weights, or imaginary weights, but I'm switching to my two pound weights now. And I'll bring my heavier weights. Very careful with my back because I did have that in injury last month. <sighs> and we'll bring it up and go side to side. Good, get that nice stretch and breathe. Ah. Good, good, good. And side to side, side to side, looking good. All right. And then it's time for uppercuts. So boom and boom. So just imagine that you have a really heavy, heavy weight here in your hand. And science has shown 30% effective. <laughs> good. Just think of the abs you can sure have. It's not 32.5%? <laughs> no, seriously. Like if you do imaginary sit-ups, it really works. Yeah, I do you that while I'm sleeping. You do them. You can't just go, oh, I'm doing my imaginary sit-ups right now and eat popcorn and watch TV. You, you know how many marathons I've run while I'm sleeping? No, yeah. that doesn't count. You have to, you have to, just like a meditation, you have to be thinking that you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. And then punch and kick back. Good. Punch and kick back with the opposite leg. Boom. And of course, you can just do this nice and soft if that's how your body's feeling today, or you can really make it happen. Either one's great. Good. Or you can just do imaginary ones completely and just sit there. <laughs> but you can't you know be doing your nails or something no you have to actually be thinking that you're doing it good and go and hey that's you go. That was what what did you say laura i couldn't hear you. Doug. oh doug's here hi doug hey, he, doug. Was. he wins the prize he took me to Costi Fantucci for Oh, for, for Mozart! You oh, darn. You I love that restaurant. Mozart are beautiful. I took my wife to Leftovers. <laughs> but I okay. bought a roses a week ago. We row our boats. We're rowing our boats. <laughs> I love the yes. boats. Rowing. Oh, how lovely. I hope it was wonderful, Laura. It was so beautiful. And I thought it was Monet or something. It was like a painting, and oh. they had thing. Unless it was projected on them, I don't know. Pretty high tech. Um, they, I could hardly see them because they had the same the background, and then the background kept changing, and it even went through thunderstorm. It was like a motion of uh, wow. so beautiful. I guess it was supposed to be like how they did Maurice and X. Where the wild things are they've done that before with one of the operas and it, oh, it was a hansel and gretel the valerie one the one valerie okay, was and kick again. well how great i'm very happy for you but i don't know if he won valentine's day 
because my husband wrote me a song. So. <laughs> what? Who? What? Who said? I'll kill him. <laughs> I wrote a song for Valentine's Day. It's this is your Valentine's Day song. It's not very. <laughs> See, I'm very creative. Ha ha ha! Someone's trying to get in. Nope, no one's trying to get in. <laughs> and two more. Okay, we can put our weights down now. Make sure you put them in a safe place, even the imaginary Ow. ones. So I don't that know you won't stub your toe. You don't want to stub toes. Okay. Good. Impressive weights, but I don't know where they are. Okay. Imaginary weights work. All right. So we're bringing up that left arm, and then we're going to bring it across us and get that lovely stretch. And you can just hold it here, or you can inhale, bring it here, and then exhale it across. I like to just hold it and breathe into those muscles that we just worked. Feel them getting a lovely stretch. I like it. I like it. Yay. And breathe, breathe, breathe. And have your heart rate come back down. Because we do um, HIT, which is called high intensity interval training here, which means we get our heart rate up and then we take it back down. And we get our heart rate up, then we take it back down. And that is the best way to burn calories. Then we'll reach up to the sky. And it's also the best way to exercise your heart. Reach, 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 reach. Then Put that on your back. website to tell them that you will save heart people and you will live longer by taking chair yoga. It is so true. And don't forget to tell them about the um, neuroplasticity that keeps the dementia away. Neuroplasticity, because we're all talking and we're doing the work too, and we're keeping our minds on what we're doing. And it makes the mind have to work real hard. Careful, you're encouraging talking. Yes, I am. I'll get you some <laughs> printed <laughs> shoes. Yeah. Boy, yeah. you blew that one, Cindy. <laughs> I encourage talking. Let it go. You know this. How come you have we, me? Uh, we did have one. How come you have um, me permanently muted. No. <laughs> Oh, I know. I've never done that in this oh, class. Oh, yeah, right. I've never muted everybody in this class. <clears throat> sure, I read it. I only mute people who aren't talking to us. If, if you're not talking to us, then I mute you. And then bring that hand up. Good. This is the other hand, your right hand. Bring it across. Breathe. Good. Yeah, we, we did have someone once who came to this class and said, you know, in yoga, we're supposed to be meditating, thinking about our breath. And I said, well, we'll do that during the warrior part of the class. But, <laughs> but I'm encouraging you got us to totally exhausted and we can't breathe anyway. So. <laughs> so come to my other classes for that. Good. Come to my meditation class. I would mute, mute you for sure, Bob, in meditation. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I can do I can do sign language. Oh darn it. And reach. <laughs> reach, 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 reach. I can help them meditate better. And scratch your back and pull the elbow. Now you're meditating in expert mode. Good luck. <laughs> you think if you can meditate through this, then you can really do it. And then you can mm -hmm. really do it. That's right. Dream <laughs> meditation with an X. <laughs> Go to her class and make good stretch. Good, good, good stretch. Oh, or you could push it, or you can have this arm down. All three of these ways are great. Some people have a hard time getting their arm up there to do that. Okay, and then we're gonna rain down, rain down, rain down, and keep your eyes on the horizon if you're having any balance issues, like you know, vertigo, vertigo, and then roll shoulders back, or if you have glaucoma, and roll and roll. And roll. Beautiful. Okay, shaking it out, shaking it out. Time to work our legs. We're running. We're running. We're stepping to the side and back. Step back. Step back. Good. And step. And step. Good. Over and over. Over and over. Toe heel. Toe heel. Toe heel. Toe heel. This is neuroplasticity too, because we're gonna make it crazy. Go forward. Go side, go forward, go side, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, 
Yeah, we're creating. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one. Side, 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 forward, forward, side, side, forward, forward, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, stop. Inhale and exhale. Ah. You got to do that differently and say, Cindy says. <laughs> Cindy says. That's a great idea. I have to make another video for my grandson. Go toe, heel, toe, heel. Cindy says go. <laughs> Everyone should subscribe to my YouTube channel, which includes videos for my grandson, which are quite hilarious. <laughs> Who lives in Oregon? <laughs> someone move away, or were they always channel. there? <laughs> and roll shoulder and roll. There's a variety of things in there. Yeah, they oh. moved away recently, Bob. <laughs> oh, they did. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, which one was that, the one that just got married? No, this is the one who was an engineer out at the North Island. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So what, is he, he what is he doing up in Oregon? He's making video games and writing music for video games. Oh, does that sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Taking a shot. Can you believe it? <laughs> and fly and fly. Good. And we'll roll shoulders again and roll. Mm. And it is time to stretch this shin. So bring the top of these toes down towards the mat. I'm gonna to go to the side so you can see how it looks. There it is. And you get a nice stretch and shin right here. Breathe into it. Or you get cramps on the bottom of your feet, one of the two. Yeah, and when you get that, then you drink more water and eat bananas. And what's the third one? Don't overwork it and make sure you take your shoes off sometimes. Really important in life to switch shoes or take them off and go barefoot, wear different things on your feet, not always the same thing. So that your feet get, you know, limber. You need to be limber, like all of us. <laughs> not limburger, Bob. Not, not limburger. limburger. Okay, and then bring it back like this and we get a stretch here in our hip flexor. Oh, we're also, gonna do that. Really important if you sit a lot. Oh, this is the one we do the dancer pose. Yeah, we're going to dancer. This is Bob's show off move. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Rich. That's the one that if I if I go out of focus, I fell down. <laughs> Don't fall down. Call 911. <laughs> Everybody's got one pose that they do like pretty well. They're like, okay, oh, yeah. I think this is my good pose. Thanks a lot, George. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should I be higher? Should I be lower? It might I mean where is the perfect angle? I <laughs> Remember our well, theme for today, Bob. I high should in the say that, of course, during this class, you are your own coach. Oh, yes. I can't actually see. Okay, it. let's have a drink. <laughs> and that was my disclaimer clause. Does that no. work, Mr. Lawyer? Was that enough? You, yeah. You are your own coach during this class. <laughs> this is only meant for. Advisal purposes only. You should consider. No, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I can do a half hour of disclaimer for you. We switch sides. That's right. <laughs> it starts with I'm not a lawyer. Oh, by the way, I'm not. I'm a lawyer. only a lawyer spokesperson. We so can bring it back and stretch that hip flexor and the shin. Good. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Yep, yep, yep. So our, uh, for yeah. those of you who missed it, we have a, a meteorological theme for this episode, which is high in the 60s. High in the 60s here in Coronado. I'm getting a little precipitation. Are you guys getting anything in North Park? No. Yeah. It's raining. Really? It's raining here. Yeah, here too. Yep, yep, yep. And reach. Can I shut off my water system outside? Okay, and bring it down. You could and roll one shoulder and roll the other. Roll. And yeah, I'll tell you if it good. stops here when you do it. Okay. okay now we're going to do the perimeter of the foot now. So heel, side of the foot, toes, inside of the foot. Heel, side of the foot, and you're tracing it on the floor. So kind of giving your ankle a workout, your foot a massage. And then also a hip rotation, round and around, good. 
And you're making a nice mark in the red. Everybody has a favorite one. This is my favorite. Okay. And go the other way, around and around. Woo. So same foot, but other direction. Great, great, great. Woo. It's a lovely day. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven people. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah. And Brian, oh, and Kat. <laughs> hey, I got Wilbur. And Wilbur. So seven, eight, nine. I love it. And we're going around and around. Wilbur was doing his downward Which dog. Oh, good Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> and Fran says she's coming next week. Where has she and been? Fran I'm traveling. Be here, but she's working. Toes. Good for her. Yeah. Toes, side of the foot, heel, inside of the foot, around and around. Round okay, and around and around. Way on that stick foot, around and around. Yeah, it is good for her. That's very good. <laughs> You're singing the children's version. I'm singing. Round and round. I'm seeing a metal tune by Rat. <laughs> One of my favorite groups. Cool. I and want you to know more. that the, the Black Widows have broken up. Oh. Plant feet, roll shoulders back and back. I think they put out three vinyls. <laughs> okay, we're going to bring the left knee up and give it another hug because we appreciate it. Appreciate now you're going to hurt me. Circle. Circle then bring that ankle and put it on your knee. And if that isn't available today, you can put it on your ankle. Up, up or down. Good. Up or down. And then we'll inhale and open up that thigh here. Breathe. Good. And we can come nice and straight and tall. Feel the stretch in the um, iliopsoas or the groin muscle. Go around with your ankle here and around the other way. And we're keeping our rhomboids and trapezoids and all of the muscles in our backs nice and, and upright, bringing heart center forward. And then we inhale and exhale that heart center forward a few inches. Feel the stretch as we keep our back extended. Inhale and exhale. Gorgeous. Good, good, good. Inhale. Really a great stretch here. But you got to pay attention to it so we don't hurt ourselves. We don't like that. And inhale. It hurts just to put your ankle on. So. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> this is the only one that I actually start at the top and move it to the bottom. They're going, oh, that's enough. Okay, but we got to do our weight lifting now. So the opposite leg, the heel comes up and down, up and down. All right, Bob. You got to <clears throat> do the weight lifting. Boom. <laughs> Boom, and you can feel that calf working there. Yeah. Our, One of our, our clients, Bob, up. during during a, a, a something like this would say, I love you, Cindy. <laughs> yeah, that's what Shelly, Shelly, when she said my live yoga classes from years ago. And it's <laughs> a little too much. Yeah, she'd start counting. Cindy, I love you. One, two, three, come on. <laughs> Three more, two more, one more, okay. Two more, yeah. And switch, good. And inhale, and exhale, ha. And then bring up that other leg and give it a hug. I am thinking about starting a yoga class at the park. We'll see, I don't know. I think you, I think you could get away with it, but right now, for example, um, yeah. you get, you, the people show up, they get done and they're out of there and everybody gets, you know, I think you get a very intense workout, there you know. Go. And cross and, and feel that nice stretch again in this side. Good. Extend the spine and circle the ankle. Good. And appreciate the stretch. And notice the difference on both sides. They're I right. do. I do. I do. <laughs> okay. Good. We're not symmetrical. Yes. Yeah. The one on the left side is like someone's jabbing knives in my hip. And this one is normal. <laughs> I got, I'll, I'll handle this one. It's, that's a good thing to notice. That's a good thing to notice. And inhale, <laughs> yeah, right. And the heart center comes forward. Good. Inhale and exhale. It is good to notice things. 
to be present. Hmm. Yeah. Very Get helpful present. in life. Staying present. Because the only place that life exists is in the present. <sighs> <laughs> that's what I tell. That's what I tell all my criminal clients who are going off to jail. Don't worry about it. It's only right now. <laughs> it's only now. It's only now. And, and there, have you tried this defense? Relax, Your Honor. It already happened. Yeah. Uh, I have done that. Up and yeah. down. Up and down. I said, Your Honor, that was then. This is now. Good. <laughs> Relax, dude. It already happened. Okay. Up and down. If you call him dude, then he feels uncool to disagree with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, something cool happened to my second. Or she. What? What happened to you? Okay. So um, the one who is a uh, park ranger, Gabriel, right. um, him and his wife, who's very pregnant, went to Babel Park for a picnic for Valentine's Day. Very cute. And they ran into a um, Instagram influencer very famous and they were running and the guy um, had his big sign that said if you um, pour a gallon of milk on your head I will give you two hundred dollars <laughs> so guess what Gabriel did poured milk he poured Four a gallon of milk, milk on his head and he got two hundred bucks <laughs> and he's famous <laughs> on YouTube and he's now famous on something. I don't know. And then Cindy Where, lifts the guy up, and there he is with Snoop Dogg. The gallon of milk. Oh, he got it from a. Um, he went and got it from a, a barista. You know, a coffee person. He probably gave said, "Give me, give me a gallon of milk, and I'll give you ten bucks or whatever." Yeah. Pretty smart, huh? So he did it. <laughs> and roll shoulders. And roll shoulders. Good. <laughs> So he he got the two hundred. <laughs> I'm gonna help mom out for a sec. Well, okay, see you in a sec. He bring can start his out. college fund. Fingers, flip them and bring it up. Good. And we're gonna stretch side to side. So yeah, I looked him up on Instagram, and the guy was just all he does is is the marketing. He just thanks for. Liking me on Instagram. That's all he does. This was pretty great. And uh, I guess he started 10 years ago when he was 15. The guy's 25 now. And he has six and a half million followers. Wow. Yep. Well, it's not going to be 601 with me. <laughs> and it rained down on me either. <laughs> and then roll on up and roll one shoulder. And rule the other. And and the picture before my son's picture was him with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so he's the guy's really made it and all he does is market himself. Okay, that's good. But you know what we need to do now? Some chi gong. So we'll inhale up, get that big ball of chi and bring it down our bodies good and stop at the heart. And we're gonna let it grow. And just feel as though there's energy in between your hands. And speaking of football, let's turn it into a basketball. And we're bouncing. We're double dribbling. Oh, uh -huh. man. Double dribble. Double dribble. Woo! 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 Good, good, good. And yes, this is part of our quickness and agility program. Okay, we're doing an infinity sign. Around and around and around. Good, you got it. Yeah, our transverse motion, very important. Then we're gonna bounce it off the ceiling and bounce it off the floor. Throw to the side and catch. Throw to the side and catch. Throw and catch. Throw and catch. Bounce, 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 bounce. Excellent. Bring it to your heart center and kick and kick and kick. And any of these you can slow down on if it's too much <laughs> and kick. Or you can do them imaginarily. Good. And throw it. And throw it. Good. And throw it. And bounce, bounce, bounce. Excellent. Good. And one more infinity sign around and around. You can feel our waists working. We're whittling away at our obliques and our abdominus muscles. 
Great, make it nice and strong and bring it back to heart center. Inhale and exhale and we'll open it up again and then hug that chi. Good, you can feel that energy built up. And tonight is, anybody know? Full moon, that's right. So we bring the left hand on top, the right hand on the bottom and hug the moon and open it up and hug the moon the other way. It's actually called embracing the moon. And open, embrace the moon. This is also good for our spleen, our lungs, our heart, and our liver. It balances these organs within. Good. And good on here. the next one. Now what does Scott hug do? The moon, and then bring the, the right hand up, left hand down and reach, heaven and earth, bring it back, oh, yep, and the left hand goes up, the right hand goes down, reach, bringing it back, beautiful, bringing our hands down to our thighs, we'll inhale, and exhale, and get ready for warriors, time for warriors, so bring that left leg over, right leg comes back, and our hips are gonna be pointing towards the left, shoulders towards the left. The foot here, which is your right foot, the heels up and you're pushing through that heel and get a lovely stretch through the bottom of your, of your foot. And that keeps the plantar fasciitis away. Good. And feel the stretch here in your hip flexor. Then we inhale both arms up and reach. Exhale, open up heart center. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open, one more like that, inhale. Exhale, open up like this, see if you can cactus pose, good. Inhale, reach, clap your hands together, point away from me, get that stretch all the way down your right side here, good, and breathe. And get ready for humble warriors. So we brace our core, brace our glutes, inhale, exhale, Coming down like we're bowing. Keep your eyes on the horizon if you're having any balance issues or there's glaucoma or um, osteoporosis. Inhale up and exhale. But if not, you can bring it down. Inhale, reach and exhale. Good. One more like that. Good, and hold in Humble Warrior, and bring it back up and reach. Beautiful, and then we'll bring it to our Warrior Two. So now the hips are open up towards the screen. That toe comes down, pointing towards the screen. We reach through, roll the shoulders back, tuck the tailbone, shine the heart, flip the left palm, and bring it up to the sky. Inhaling and reaching back to center and then that left palm comes down to the knee and we reach through with the right arm into side angle good back to center to warrior two follow your own breath as we inhale up and exhale forward inhale reaching to exalted warrior follow your own breath and then bring it to our side angle and we'll do this for a couple more breaths here. Beautiful, beautiful. And one more. Good, Debbie. Woo! Good. And then back to center and hold and breathe. Inhaling down. Exhale, shine like a star. Then come around to the other side. Good. So we'll bring that heel up. So now it's your left heel that you're pushing through. Hips are pointed towards the right, shoulders towards the right. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, opening up that heart center and your elbows are in line with your shoulders there. Good. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, open. Inhale, extend. Exhale, open and hold. One more. Beautiful. 
Good, good, good. We'll reach both hands up, tap them together, point away from me so you get a gorgeous stretch down your left side here. Breathing into it. And preparing for our humble warriors as we inhale, exhale, maybe keeping your eyes on the horizon. Inhale, reach. And exhale forward. Or if you're feeling it, you can inhale and come down into a full humble warrior. Inhale, reach. And exhale. And we'll do one more humble warrior here. Good. Beautiful. We'll reach both arms up, dropping it to our warrior two. Good. On this side, with the hips pointing to the screen, reaching through, tucking our tailbone, rolling shoulders back, shining heart, flipping right palm, bringing it up to the sky. Beautiful. Hold. Then back to center, hold in side angle. Good, really noticing these moves as we follow our breath now. Inhale and exhale, following your own breath. Inhale and exhaling. Beautiful. He's right, we don't talk during this. And we got one more. Yeah, this is the silent part. <laughs> and reach, noticing what we're doing. And back to center and hold and breathe. Drop it down, come to our star pose. Reach into star, we are shiny stars. Bringing feet together, hands on our thighs. Inhale, filling up our lungs and our diaphragm. Open our diaphragm, exhale, rounding our backs. Inhale, and exhale. Coming to center, we'll inhale center. Exhale, look to your left. Inhale center, exhale, look right. Inhale center, exhale, looking left. Don't make this a stretch, just make it a movement of the neck. A lot of times we don't move our necks mindfully like this. And it's good for them to get that little mindful attention. Good, back to center. Now we're gonna drop ear to shoulder. Inhale, and dropping that ear towards the shoulder. In center and over. Just putting our necks through a nice little um, uh, mobility. Mobility. Don't think of it as a stretch. Think of it as mo mobility. Okay. And over. And then nose to shoulder. Inhale, nose towards the shoulder. Inhale and exhale that nose towards the shoulder. Good. Noticing the movement. Good. And then we're going to do looking up at the stars. Inhale, look up at the stars on one side. Back to center. Look up at the stars on the other side. And that's the name of my song my husband wrote me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, um, Eyes in the Stars. My eyes are in the stars. Want to listen to the five minute version? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the chorus? <laughs> and roll. Light my fire. Oh, <laughs> and roll. Anyone Every day at 1230, they played Light My Fire five minute version. Oh, <laughs> bring this foot out, dorsiflex the foot, inhale up, and exhale down towards the foot, which the heel's on the ground. Good. Inhale, and exhale. Ah, one more. Beautiful. And then we'll go to the other foot, and dorsiflex it, feel that nice stretch in the back of the leg, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. This was fun day. Hmm. Every day is a fun day with all of you guys together. That's right. The more and you know it's going to be a right. good day when your face is in the mirror. Good. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Exhale. We're inhaling both hands up. They meet up at the top and come to heart center. And we got one more to go. 
Bring them to heart center. We are grateful and I'm grateful for you. Yay, fun. I want to I want to hear the Cindy Cindy love song. Okay, okay. I can do it. I'll play. Okay, it. he'll play it. Yeah, I've got I got to be gone in 3 minutes though, so I only want the 3 minute version. Okay, you got the 3 minute version coming up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share my screen if she'll let, if this will let me share screen. Host disabled participant screen to be center center thing. I want a montage with an elementary school. Okay. Well, okay. I'm trying to help you share the screen. I don't know how. Okay. Uh, let's see. Come on, Cindy. You've been doing this for centuries now. Oh, here. <laughs> Just let me get it. Okay. No, don't don't do it that way. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, you, you, you can't. Uh... And, and guys, don't forget to do your, your neck stretches two to three times. Well, oh, make day. me the host, take Cindy. A couple of seconds. Cindy, make me the host. Multiple participants can share. I already did. Okay. Share screen. Uh, You're never gonna make it on Johnny Carson, I can tell. Share sound. Oh, he's dead. Share. That's right. <laughs> right. And then here we go. All right, now let me find find the uh, the thing. And the thing is, uh, the thing mm -hmm. is, is that the song? Right. Thing is, that was from the song. That was from the movie It, right? No, the stars in her eyes. <laughs> eyes in the stars. Eyes in the stars. I'm waiting, George. I could be making money right now. She ate by an empty seat. They called her mom the mean lunch lady. Can you hear it? I can hear now it. Those kids can be cruel at school. I learned that lately. I tried to hold her hand when the marching band went to Disney. We kissed on the bus. I guess my mind gets misty But I do know that anyone who could tell you who I love to love to love The girl with the flute and the cheerleader shoes and her eyes in the stars I didn't over-engage She was more of the age to hang out with my brother which she presently did a bit one or the other but I do know that anyone who knew could tell you who I love to love to love the girl with the flute and the cheerleader shoes and her eyes in the stars flipping ahead a lot of life gets led while you turn all night on the sofa bed over changes and missing pages and disillusions but life is sweet and maybe your heart will beat if you chance to spot an empty seat next to someone you know at a marching band So when I asked if I could sit, after all those years, she said, promise, never leave, best believe, I got right on it. Now in our family homes, with our two sweet moms, sometimes her mama will make a grilled cheese for me, that's crazy karma. And I do know that anyone we know can tell you So we love to love to love The girl with the flute and the cheerleader shoes And her eyes in the stars Yeah, I do know that anyone we know can tell you So we love to love to love The girl with the flute and the cheerleader shoes And her eyes in the stars the girl with the flute and the cheerleader shoes and her eyes in the stars. Thank you.
That's that. Do you have it? Uh, do you have that copy written yet? <laughs> we get, a copy, get a copy written. I can see Neil Young or Boz Skaggs doing that one. Oh, so nice. <laughs> no, I mean, that could be, especially if they, if they married a cheerleader. <laughs> Goodbye, Doug. Bye, Laura. Bye, you guys. Bye, George. Love you. Bye, Linda. Goodbye. Who else is on there? Okay. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.